Hey y'all, this is different. I'm back. Okay, I'm actually currently uploading the house testimony right now. But y'all know I told y'all when I had looked back at what I had wrote on that particular um, page in my notebook about that. At the top, I had wrote, you give me reasons to trust you. And he and he so has. And so I, I feel like I just got to make another video for like legitimate encouragement. Um, not to say that you won't get any from any of the testimonies, but like this is like he gives us reasons to trust him time and time again. And after I had finished the house testimony, I put it on Travis Green, who you were. Um, you know, he says that in the song, you give me reasons to trust you, like seriously. And um, at the end, he goes on, um, you know, has he given you, have, has he given he, has he given you reasons? Has he brought you, you know, out of the seasons? Has he healed your body? Has he touched your mind? Y'all, he has. He has. And that's just in my life. And I know that if he'll do it for me, he will do it for you. Like, I'm ready to shout. I was on Twitter and I was telling them, like, um, yeah, I've been ready to fall out since last night. Something is definitely going on in the spiritual realm, you know, concerning my life. Like, something's going to break through from the spirit to the physical. I'm going to see it because, like, right now, I don't see it. I don't. And I text my um cousin and I was like, hey, um, this morning when I first woke up, I was like, hey, um, so something's happening in the spirit. Like, I can feel it. And I was just telling my mom and she was like, yeah, I can too. And I just, I just want to, I want to, I just, I'm ready to shout and thank them in advance. And y'all have to be on this. Y'all have to be there too. It don't matter if you can't see it. It doesn't matter. And you can feel it. Like my spirit knows, like I, I'm ready to shout, like praise them in advance. Like I just know it's on the way. I know it's on the way and you can trust him. He, he did it before, he'll do it again. I'm not trying to quote all our favorite songs. I'm really not, but it's true. It is true. He has healed my body. He did it before, I know he'll do it again. He has touched my mind. You know what I'm saying? Like he gives us reasons to trust him. Trust him, trust him. I actually went to my warfare prayer and I'm about to read y'all a scripture real quick. Um, Psalms 56 and four. In God, I will praise his word. That's the same word we standing on. That's Jesus. The, in the beginning was the word and the word was God. We know the word was made flesh. That's Jesus. So when I say the word, I'm not just talking about, you know, the Bible. I'm talking about Jesus and God. I will praise his word and God. I have put my trust. That's somewhere you can put your trust. You can put your trust in him. He has never, I know he ain't never let none of y'all down. He ain't never let me down. I can't look back at a moment of my life and he hasn't come through, hasn't made a way, hasn't done all the things that he said he would do. You can put your trust in God. Put your trust in God. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. I'm telling it's a season. He he removing that fear. He removing it. If y'all like me, like that fear gotta go. You can't do what he done told you to do, and you got that fear there. Again, that was Psalms 56 and 4. But he gives us reasons to trust him. Has he brought you out of seasons? Has he? Because he's brought Megan out of seasons. I'm so thankful. I was just tweeting. I reflect a lot. Um, and in the other video, I told you I had that dream where my soul was crying out to Jesus. I am not that girl anymore. I'm not in bondage. I'm not in chains. Nothing is holding me back. My soul's not crying out to him like that in anguish, in agony, in despair. My soul longs for him. That's my savior. That's my Lord. But I am not in bondage anymore. That's where I was at this time last year. November of 2019, you couldn't have told me I would have been standing right here. And I'm not even just talking about my house. I'm just talking about like my mental state, everything. Y'all got to understand if he did it for me, he will do it for you. I even shared on Facebook last night how everything can change in a year. Everything in my life changed in a year. In a year, I was literally just having sleep paralysis every day, having those dreams where my soul was crying out. This was this time last year. I'm sleeping peacefully, baby, peacefully. My soul ain't longing for him in that, like crying out for him in that extent. It still cries out for him. It's gonna always cry out for him because that's the creator and the sustainer of my soul. But I'm walking with him. He is right here. I'm not in chains. And that like we be in chains because we don't understand what's going on. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm going to get to the spiritual warfare videos. My camera cut off. The devil. I'm going to get to the spiritual warfare maybe next week. I'm not going to promise y'all because I'm um, working on some other stuff. I'm trying to be obedient in this season. But I was in chains. I was in bondage this time last year. And I, I'm not. No chains are holding me. He He touched me. And when he touched me, the chains fell off. Okay, and I, I walked up out of there. I walked up out of those situations. I walked up out of those mindsets. It didn't happen overnight. Don't get me wrong. Like he's still dealing with me on some things, but my life is different. 
Everything about my life is different. The way I move, the way I think, the way I have a relationship with him is all different. You can trust him. Whatever it is that you're scared to let go of, whatever it is that you're scared to walk away from, this is the Holy Spirit because I did not plan on coming out here and saying none of that. Um, walk away from it. Trust God. You're going to get in alignment. I didn't say this in the video, but when I walked away from all that other stuff, everything else started lining up. You know, we jokingly be like, hey, like you low key blocking my blessings. I was blocking my blessings and being in alignment in situations and with people I shouldn't have been in alignment with. You got to trust him. Let go. You know, the image of that, um, the teddy bear and the little girl don't want to let go of the one she's had, not knowing that Jesus is trying to give her a bigger one, a better one. This goes back to the video I was just talking about, the exceedingly and the abundantly. You got to trust him. You got to trust him to be able to let go and walk away when he's nudging you to do that. You got to trust that he's going to bless you exceedingly and abundantly. You got to trust that he will change your whole life in a year. He did it for me. If he don't do nothing else, y'all, he did it for me. He did it. No change. And he gave me everything better. Everything is better than what it was November 2019. Megan, November 2020. I am not the same person. You can trust him. That is my testimony. If he did it for me, he will do it for you. Trust him. He gives you reasons to trust to trust him. Look back over the seasons of your life, of your life. Look back over them. He has given you plenty of reasons to trust him. And he won't stop giving you reasons. He don't even have to do that. But that's just the God we serve. He will continue to give you reasons to trust him. Trust him. Trust him. I love y'all. Be blessed. Just like trust him. Let go of whatever it is. Let it go. Trust him. He gonna blow your mind.